Okay, day seven at Turning Point Boat Works. We're starting to see a boat here. A lot of work was done today getting this uh, yellow cedar onto the boat. And not an easy task. Um, wow. Joey and I did a lot of tough work today, but if you come on over here, I'm gonna show you what's happening. I left a strip off so you can see it. What has to happen before each strip goes on, because we're coming around a corner here, is that you have to bevel the backside of the piece before. Very neat device that uh, Nick Schotter made. It's the world's tiniest plane stuck in here, and you just basically go along and you just shave off and you bevel whatever you need to bevel on the back end. This piece of equipment makes it much easier than the good old days when you have to do it with a regular planer. Um, and then you, you, put, you lay your strip. Now, I haven't beveled this side of it yet. So you'll see when I put it on, when it lays, it doesn't lay flush, right? So that needs to be beveled on the back side so that this strip can lay flush. But over here, I have beveled this side of it. So you'll see that when I put this on and I lay it flat, it lays flush, right? So that's what, that's what takes so long. Uh, we're at, um, I want to say 55 hours now on day seven of building this kayak. And as you can tell, we don't even have the, the hull completed. After that's done, we're going to do the deck. And then there's the seat, and we have to do everything else around it, the bulkheads and whatever you have. Again, I want to thank Joey Schott for loaning me his shot and his expertise. Uh, you guys saw him last week in a video. He's going to be in more videos later on. So thank you guys over at Turning Point Boatworks. Uh, couldn't do it without you. See you next week.